Hey fellow Star Hacks, this is Kevin Beat here for you for another One Piece episode review. This is going to be One Piece episode 8 titled, Who is the Victor? Devil Fruit Power Showdown. And I got my nice shirt on today, and look at this, eh? <laughs> you got Nami and Zoro up here. It looks looks pretty nice, but you know, they're kind of cut off, so you can't really see it too well. Anyway, I was 16 minutes into my first recording, and the camera froze. It said it was an error and it stopped. <laughs> 16 minutes. I was 11 minutes into the last thing and it cut off. I mean, 11 minutes ain't whatever, but 16 minutes? Oh, my goodness. Come on, bro. <laughs> Come on. 16 minutes. Anyway, <clears throat> let's get into this. Anyway, right after the opening and the recap, we cut right back to Buggy and Luffy. And I'm guessing right after Luffy punched them from last episode, they uh, backed up a little bit because they're a good distance away from each other. Buggy's saying the same thing that he said last episode about how he hates Sanks with a passion. He's allowed to say anything that he wants about Sanks. And then we get into a Buggy flashback and we see young Buggy and young Sanks arguing about which pole is the coldest. The South Pole or the North Pole? I would say the North Pole, right? I mean, in real life, that would have to be the North Pole. Don't quote me on that. I don't know if that's legit. If I was in the North Pole, but in One Piece terms, you never know. Maybe the South Pole. You never know. This is what a young buggy and a young Sanks looks like. <clears throat> young buggy and young Sanks. But the background in this scene is white, so you can't really see it too well. You can't see it too well. So let me cut back here. And right after this, we see a grown man. This is Silver's Rayleigh. Punch buggy. And I was going to say Luffy. Punch buggy. And Sanks in the head says, Come, stop arguing. If you want to find out which pole is the coldest, just go to Eeks and find out which is the coldest. And out of nowhere, enemy ship comes up and they start to fight the enemy ship. And Buggy is really excited because he says, Basically, an enemy ship, oh, that's just a big treasure chest being way to open. There's so much treasure out there, we can take it all for us. And Sanks like, Yeah, okay, I guess. And this is what Silver Rayleigh looks like in the anime before we were supposed to properly meet him in Saba Odi. Now, I don't know about y'all. I, I think I can tell a pretty big difference about how he looks here and how he's supposed to look. I, I, got, I got a manga book on how he's supposed to look. I, I think I, I think there's a pretty 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 big pretty big difference. I think so. Look at this. So let's see what he looks like before we're supposed to properly meet him right here. And let's see what he looks like when we really meet him. There's a pretty big difference, huh? I, I think I'll say so. This is a uh, silver Israeli. Y'all didn't know. <laughs> So it was really, I, I think there's a pretty big difference if you see what I'm saying. Woo! I mean, yeah, I mean it kind of looks, maybe, I, I can kind of maybe see it, like, him when he was, like, super young, kind of. At the same time, it's like, yo, that doesn't even look remarkably close. Like, it somewhat looks close, but at the same time, it doesn't, you know? <laughs> it doesn't, really. Let me put this back on the TV. <coughs> anyway. While they're starting to fight all the enemy pirates, Buggy cuts down one pirate, and as soon as he cuts him down, a treasure chest, I'm not treasure chest, my bad, a treasure map, gets cut out of his jacket. Buggy picks it up, he goes, whoa, a treasure chest, my destiny, finally. And the treasure chest, I mean the treasure map, is sold that this, whatever the treasure is, is at the bottom of the sea. So he puts it inside of his jacket. Then it cuts that later that night to where Buggy's out on, on top of the deck while everybody else is inside partying, and he's reading the treasure map, he says, huh? So it is at the bottom of the sea. How am I going to get this? And then Shank comes up and startles Buggy. He goes, what? Well, what are you doing? Come on, Buggy. Aren't you going to come party? He says, no, I'm not going to go party. I'm doing my own thing. So Shank, he just comes up to the top of the deck with him. And they both start to talk about how Buggy starts to say about how he commends Shank's fighting skills. He's really strong, but he doesn't. I mean, sorry, he's really strong. But if they didn't see an um, outlook on life so differently, he'll probably make Buggy one of uh, He'll probably make Shanks one of his henchmen. Shanks like, henchmen? Yeah, okay, whatever. And Buggy goes, hey, Sanks, didn't you say you want to leave the pirate crew soon? He says, yeah, what are you going to do? I'm going to find my own pirate crew. I'm going to sail the seas, see the world. He goes, hmm. But uh, we do, like, go on our separate ways and start our own pirate crews. But we ever meet each other again, we're going to have to fight to the death. That's the way of the pirates. Yeah, that's true, too. <clears throat> and then Sanks mentions about how they found a devil fruit. And they say if you eat a devil fruit, you gain some sort of mystic power. But it takes away your ability to swim. But he's like, what kind of fool would eat that and lose that ability to swim? He says, yeah, yeah, I know. But I hear they can go around for five, ten million berries. Buggy's like, are you serious? And it cuts to the daytime and Buggy goes, me, Buggy, is going to eat this devil fruit. They're like, go ahead, 
it, but you go like the whole crew hyping him up. He eats the devil fruit. You feel any different? And Boogie's like, uh, no, I don't really feel any different. Ah, I knew it was a fool. Come on, who actually seen an actual devil fruit? Come on now. And then it cuts to nighttime where Buggy has the actual devil fruit in his hand. He just ate that devil fruit to make everybody, you know, so like, you know, so nobody would be like, hey, where's that devil fruit at? They just, you know, he's just like a fluke. But he has the actual devil fruit. He's like, okay, now I'm going to sell this. I got to go ahead and hurry up and get off this boat before anybody notices. And Saint comes up from behind him. He's like, hey, Buggy, what you got there? Saint, I mean, Buggy gets scared and takes the devil fruit and puts it into his mouth to hide it from Saint. He goes, don't scare me like that. Don't be so jumpy. All right, well, I'll see you later, Buggy. And Saint walks off. He goes, whew. That was close. Okay, now he's got to, the sink comes back. He goes, oh, yeah, Boogie, that's right. The captain, and Boogie gets scared again, and he swallows the whole devil fruit whole. <laughs> and he starts to yell and spans at Sanks, like, you made me eat the devil fruit. What is wrong with you? He's like, Boogie, what are you talking about? And then the treasure map that he just had in his hand starts to flow into the wind, and then it goes into the ocean. Boogie's like, oh, no, my treasure. He jumps into the water to get it, but like I just said, he ate a devil fruit. So now he can't swim. And he's not moving and he's drowning. Sanks like, what the heck? <gasps> That's right, he ate a devil fruit. He takes off his hat. He jumps into the water and saves Sanks. And then the land, I mean, not the land. Then the t camera cuts back to real time where it's Buggy and Luffy talking. And Luffy's like, so you're telling me Sanks saved your life? That's not the point. Because he made me eat the devil fruit. Now I'm going to get, <clears throat> sorry, y'all heard that? <laughs> My voice got super raspy. <clears throat> My goodness. He said, That's not the point. Uh, because he made me eat that devil fruit. Now I couldn't get the treasure on the bottom of the sea. So now I made a vow to get all the treasure on dry land. And then let me show you what Buggy looked like when he ate this devil fruit whole. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> whoo, I mean, that, that was a decent sized devil fruit, man. That joint was huge, and he swallowed that thing whole. I mean, look, I'm not going to say that's impressive, but I'm not going to say that's unimpressive, if you get what I'm saying. You, you know, like, it's... That, that, that's not impressive, but it's not unimpressive. You know what I'm saying? It's the, that, 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 that is not unimpressive to me, man. But anyway, this is, look at this. Look, look, look how big the devil fruit is before Buggy swallows it. Because like I said, he he hide it, he put it in his mouth to hide it from Sanks. Look how big that is, right? Look how big that is. Now Sanks is going to come back and scare Buggy and make him swallow that thing. Like, what? <laughs> Yo. I don't know, man. <laughs> that couldn't be me. That couldn't be me. I, I don't think I could do that. But uh, that's not impressive. But I'm not gonna say. I mean, I'm not. I'm not gonna say that's not impressive. But I'm not gonna say that's unimpressive. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. So let me put this back on the TV. <clears throat> okay, here we go. So we cut back to real time, like I said, and they start to argue. Then, out of nowhere, Buggy disconnects his top half from his bottom half, and he sees Nami in the distance with his treasure. So, he starts to run after, or he starts to fly after Nami. So, right before he cuts Nami, like I said, he disconnected his top half and ran after Nami. His bottom half is still next to Luffy. So, Luffy kicks him with a sundo sign, and he instantly stops, and he falls down. He said, come on, man, that was a cheap blow. You're not done with me. We're still fighting. <laughs> you know, you're not done with me. We're still fighting. I don't know where you think you're going. And right after that, the camera cuts to all the townspeople. We find out that the townspeople have their like little old barricade on the other side of the island. So the pirates can't get to them. And they're all like, man, where's the mayor at? It's been, he hasn't been out for this long before. Where is he at? And this one old guy says, you know what? I'll go into town and see what's going on with the mayor. All of you guys stay here. So one guy goes, no, man, I want to find out what's going on with the mayor. Like, everybody, like, in the whole, like, village thing. Like, yeah, I want to find out, too. I want to find out, too. Are y'all crazy? There's pirates. That's exactly where we saw all go. Okay, then it's all settled. We're all going. And they're like, yeah, come on, let's go. And they all leave. And then we get the, like, midway point to the episode. And last week, they messed up the music. It was Zoro's theme, and Luffy popped up. And then it was, like, Luffy's theme, and now he's late. You know, they, they mixed it up pretty badly. <laughs> but this week, they fixed it with Luffy's theme. Luffy sold up. It was Nami's theme. Nami sold up. So everything's good. <laughs> everything's good, man. So they, they fixed it. <laughs> they, they fixed it. Last week, I was like, what is going on? That is not, <laughs> that is not the music. Anyway, uh, right after that, we cut back to Buggy and everybody. Buggy is saying that that is my treasure. What are you doing? And Nami says, what do you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was your treasure, but I stole it. So now it's my treasure. 
fuck? He's like, just because you stole my stuff doesn't make it yours. Did your mom ever teach you any manners? She goes, look, the day I take advice, like manner advice from a pirate, is the day I must stop being a thief. The buggy goes, okay, now here comes my chop chop festival. And he disconnects his top half a ton of times and he disconnects his bottom half a ton of times. And he starts to go after Nami. Right before, while he's running after Nami, he left, he's like, the only thing he didn't chop up in a ton of pieces was his feet. So Luffy grabbed his foot and starts to like tickle it. He's like chasing Nami, but he's laughing. Then he starts to like stretch it out. Like he like he like he like pinches it and like stretches out the skin. He goes, Ooh, and he still chasing Nami. And, like I'm doing this because he has like all the blades in his hand, you know, and that doing the robbing thing. <laughs> and he starts to chase Nami. Then Luffy starts to like slam his foot on the ground. And he starts to yell. He says, "Cut that out!" He says, "No, you're still fighting me." Luffy runs up the buggy. No, no, sorry, sorry. Right before that, right before that, I won't, I won't miss this. Nami grabs the bag of treasure she has and goes to slam it against Buggy's face. But Buggy had his hands disconnected, so he's able to grab the treasure bag and they're doing like a tug of war thing over it. They're like, no, give me it. No, it's mine. Give me it. It's mine. It's mine. And Luffy runs up the Buggy, jumps up in the air, stretches out his foot and kicks his face into the bag of treasure and then grinds his face against the ground until he hits a wall. <laughs> so, <laughs> that had to hurt. <laughs> that had to hurt pretty bad. This is when Buggy does his Chop Chop Festival because it looks pretty cool when he just goes like disconnects his body. Like, it, it never, it's, it's pretty cool. It's just... You know, Buggy's not the strongest character in the world, so it's not really that useful, you know, in terms of Buggy, but it's, it's pretty cool. Like, when, when he ever, whenever he uses like this, it's pretty cool. This is when he does his Chop Chop Festival. <laughs> that, that looks pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. And this is the scene where Buggy, he discon, I mean, not Buggy, when Luffy runs up to Buggy and kicks him in the face and just grinds his face <laughs> against the... <laughs> Against the ground, like my goodness. <laughs> Look, man, I'll be done after that. I'm not fighting you no more. <laughs> I'm done. I'm not fighting you no more. If you kick my face so hard, it starts to grind against the floor, and I hit a building. Yeah, man, I'm I'm done. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> you, you got it. This is where his face grinds against the ground, and he just he hurt. <laughs> My man Buggy, he's hurting bad. <laughs> Look at this. And it's kind of cool because all the treasures are going to start to fly in his way. And yeah, I'm done. <laughs> I'm not fighting you no more. Anyway, after that, Buggy gets back up. And he goes, I'm not done with you, Gum Gum. He's like, okay, he's still up. Let's do this. And so Buggy goes, okay, my body parts. Come back to me. But then it's like a super small chibi Buggy. He's like, what the heck? Where my body parts at? The camera pans out and it shows that Nami tied up all his body parts so he can't reconnect them. He's like, what the? No, give them back. Buggy. I mean, Luffy goes, okay, thanks, Nami. Now I can finish this. He stretches both his arms all the way back. He comes them back in and goes, gum gum, bazooka! And sends Buggy flying out of his village. He goes, okay, I won. Let's go. Right after, right after that, we cut the two of, Buggy, two of Buggy's henchmen. They go, oh my goodness. He just can't, he just sent Captain Buggy flying. What are we supposed to do? Look, man, just keep playing a concert. And they both pass out. <laughs> they, both, they both just pretend to pass out. That was pretty funny. This is what Buggy looks like in his little chibi form because now he tied up all his body parts. So he can't really do anything. <laughs> he can't really do anything. And this is Luffy when he does his gum gum bazooka. Now, when I, in the first time, I like let it play and it was so bright you couldn't see it. When you pause it, you can see it. It's kind of when you pause it. You can see it, but when you let it play, it gets bright and you can't see it. That was pretty funny. <laughs> that was pretty funny. So let me put the towel back on the TV. Like y'all saw, the the glare was still getting on the TV, so I gotta put the I gotta put the towel right back on again. Now. Put the towel right back on the TV. Okay, let's do this. All right, all right. So. Right after that, Luffy picks up his hat, and Nami says, hey, I'm sorry about your hat. And Buggy, like, you know, he shredded up pretty bad. He says, nah, it's okay. I can still wear it. See? It's all good. And then Nami remembers when Luffy was super mad when he cut up his hat. She goes, hey, you know, if I have some time, I can, like, you know, stitch it back up together so it can look fresh as new. Really? Well, thank you, man. And then Nami gives Luffy the map to the Grand Line. Yeah, I promise you this. Plus, you saved my life, so it's the least I can do. Really? Thank you, Nami. Does that mean you become my navigator? Like I told you, I'm never gonna become a pirate's navigator. Then out of nowhere, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, okay. My, my, my bad, my bad. 
Uh, right, right after that, they go over to Zoro and wake Zoro up. And Zoro's like, hey, I mean, Luffy's like, come on, Zoro. Come on, we gotta go. We got the map to the Grand Line. He wakes up. He goes, he looks at Nami. He goes, huh? <sighs> this is ridiculous. I'm, this is ridiculous. You're ridiculous. Nami starts to yell at him. That all the townspeople who come up on him. He goes, hey, where, where's the mayor at? And they find that the mayor. He's all beat up. I mean, he's not all beat up, but, you know, Luffy slammed his head against that wall. So he has a pretty bad bruise on his face and he's passed out. What you do to our mayor? What's going on here? Where's Buggy? And they all start to spaz at Buggy. And Nami looks to the side like, oh, no, this is bad. They're all getting pretty mad right now. We can't tell them what Luffy did to the mayor. And Luffy goes, oh, I beat him up. <laughs> so um, Nami's like, Luffy, what you tell them that for? I mean, it's true. And Luffy, and then Nami goes, okay, okay, well, at least explain to them why you did that. What, who are you guys? Why are you guys here? What you do to our mayor? Are you pirates? And Nami in her head is like, okay, just don't tell them we're pirates. Just explain that we beat up Buggy. And Luffy goes, yeah, we're pirates. And Nami's like, <laughs> Zoro, he starts laughing. <laughs> Zoro just starts laughing his head off. And then Luffy picks up Zoro, and they all start to run. <laughs> and they all start to run. And Nami's like, could you just explain to them what happened with Buggy and everything? And Luffy says, hey, you see how mad they get about their mayor, right? They love their mayor. I don't think they would have um, heard our explanation out, even though we're pirates, you know? So let's let's just get out of here. So they're running and running and running. And then they cut down this hall, not a hall, but they cut down this, um, what was it an alleyway? I was thinking like, what is it called when it's in a town but it's a hallway? They cut down the alleyway and they jump over Chashi. I mean Chushu, the dog. They, they jump over the dog and the dog just looks at them. And then when the town people try to get through to go after Luffy, Nami, and Zoro, the uh, Chashu just start bark at them. So they can't go by. They're like, man, move. Those are pirates. They beat up the man. Move. They bark because he knows that they're good people. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the pet town people doesn't know. The dog is, like, constantly barking at them so they can't get by. And they just look and smile. And then Luffy goes, okay, bye, doggy. I'll see you later. It's like a freeze frame where, like, Nami has the two big bags of treasure. And she's running and he's holding Zoro. And, and Luffy's, like, smiling. <laughs> if I can find that, I'll make that the thumbnail. If I can find that, if I can find a good image of that, I'll probably make that the thumbnail. Because that, that, was, that was pretty cool. I'll probably make this the thumbnail if I can find a good, clean image of it. And the cam and a cut. <laughs> okay, I gotta back up some. Here we go. If I can find like a good clean image of this, I'll make this a thumbnail. Hopefully, I can. Hopefully, I hope. <clears throat> you see, <laughs> that's just running away from the townspeople in the back. Ah, oh, it's too bright. Y'all can't see it too well. It's too bright. Uh, I should have known because it, it does have like that bright filter on it a little bit. It does have that up there. Anyway, they get to the docks. And Luffy was back on the TV, actually. Oh. <laughs> anyway, they get to the docks. And they find two ships. The ship that obviously Luffy and Zoro came on. And the ship that Nami came on. The ship that she stole from the buggy pirates. You know, those three buggy pirates are on the ship. They were like, yeah, we were just waiting for you guys. Now we can beat you up real good. And then he goes over to Zoro and starts to pat Zoro. He's like, hey, dummy, wake up. So I'm going to beat you and your friends up. And Zoro looks up like, huh? And those are the three guys that Zoro beat up. So they get all scared. And then it cuts to the mayor finally waking up. He goes, what happened? What the? He looks at the side and he sees the buggy, like, sort of, like, fortress that he had demolished. And he sees all the buggy parties pass. So he's like, what the? What happened? The town people are like, yeah, it was here when we got here. Uh, but don't worry, Captain. We ran those parties out of town. Where are the young ones? The young ones? You mean those three pirates? Yeah, we just ran them out of town. They even went to the docks. We gotta go beat them up. And he goes, shut up! Huh? Don't you dare. I'm the only one that can talk bad about those kids. I'm the only one that should be able to beat up those kids. Where'd they go? Down to the docks, sir, like we just said. So he takes off all the armor he had on and runs down to the docks. And he finally gets to the docks. And he goes, oh, you young ones. You young ones. And he starts to cry. And he goes, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. And he realized, you know, Oh, like he, like they, he beat Buggy. He got Buggy out of his town. Now that he can finally have a peaceful town like they used to have before Buggy came along. And but and Luffy just looks to the side. He goes, "No worries, it's all good." And the mayor looks to the side and sees a bag of treasure. And it cuts back to Luffy. And I'm just like, "You left one of my bags of treasure there? Yeah, they're gonna need it to rebuild the town. The town got pretty messed up from Buggy. I don't care. I work hard to steal that. You." You and she grabs Luffy's head and starts to like dunk it in the water. Luffy's like, chill out, no, I can't breathe, I can't swim. That's the point. And he's dunking his head, and Zoro just off to the side, and he's just laughing his head off. And Zoro just looks off to the sky. He's like, well, for better or for worse, we got a navigator. And then we see like a quick scene of Usopp walking on and just looks to the side, and then to be continued. <laughs> to be continued. 
I don't know. I don't have any shirts that you saw. I don't think. Oh, I don't think so. Uh, I'm just doing this to make sure. Yeah, yeah, okay. I wasn't about to remember it well. But yeah, he just yells, thank you. Nami cuts the dunk loop. He's heading to the water. And then he's like, no worries. It's okay. And then that's it. That's the episode. <laughs> that's the episode. Okay, so. But th this scene always confused me to where, like, because Nami's ship is, like, a really big ship. It's huge. And then, obviously, Luffy and Zoro's ship is tiny. But Luffy and Nami, they both take both their ships and they're gliding against the water together. Like, they're floating to wherever they're going together. I don't know. Why, don't they, why doesn't Luffy and Zoro just get on Nami's ship? I don't know why they're taking both boats. I, I didn't get that. But it's whatever. <laughs> it's, it's whatever. I, mean, I don't know why they're taking both boats out. But it, it, it's whatever. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, that's the episode. So, uh, like, share, and subscribe. I see you all later. I thank you all for watching. I thank you all for being wonderful human beings. And I see you guys next time. Bye bye. I think I think this can go up somewhere. Hey, it can. I could have been like this the whole time. I could have saw my shirt. I knew I knew I had it lower or something because it didn't feel so high. I'm like, why is it my shirt in the frame so much? I just need to bring my chair up somewhere. But the hey, I got a new chair. It's uh. It's rare. I bought this chair years ago, but I just been letting my mom use the use this chair, and I was using my blue chair, but I got this blue chair now. Oh, but, but I'm so this one goes super high, so you can't really see me. I can slouch a little bit. <laughs> I can slouch. Okay, I'll see y'all later. Bye bye.